Well, hello there, beach friends. We are going to continue our walk today, and things like this are just going to happen the whole time. We're going to walk down this fabulous beach and literally just pick up giant seashells. Okay, they all might not be giant. Some of them might be big and alive, and I'm not going to be able to keep that. So we are going to see one of these living moon snails. Super duper cool. And then sometimes someone else's misfortune is going to work out for us because I think people digging out that boat loosened up a bunch of seashells and that's just going to make my day a whole lot more fun. So fun that it finally happened. I broke my shell bag. So if you're ready to see what amazing treasures are out there for us today, let's go to the beach. Okay, set the scene. I'm on Sanibel. We've already been picking up seashells for a while and we're going to continue with this pretty awesome apple murex. Yep, great size, great color and oh, a broken paper fig. Now let's check out this lettered olive. Mm, it's missing its top. So I'm kind of going a little quick here. A little angel wing. So we are going to hang out. We're just going to stick with that um, apple murex. What about this paper fig? Oh, very nice. Very nice paper fig. So that'll go in the shell bag. And then this is a gaudy nautica that is a little bit kind of beat up and chewed up. So that is a colorful moon snail. I may or may not keep it. I'm not really sure. That I will keep. That is another paper fig. And I know like even on a day where I'm going to find a lot of the same specimens, I don't know when that's ever going to happen again. So if the shells are there, well, I'm going to collect them. Gorgeous. Look at how buttery. So that is a buttercup lucine that happens to be practically orange. It's so awesome. And another, yeah, another apple murex. And honestly, when I remember when I first started shelling, I could not tell the difference between an apple murex and a lace murex. I do remember that. It just takes time. The more you're out there, the more shells you pick up, the more you're exposed to it, it's gonna sink in. That again, of course, is a lovely buttercup leucine. Very easy to identify. These are also very easy to identify. It is a turkey wing or you can call it a zigzag arc some of these shells have more than one name just to keep us on our toes if you kind of like to id shells do you see it oh, it's glossy oh it's so pretty so it's a moon snail oh, it's in great shape it's blue so we'll call that a paul newman moon snail beautiful beautiful this one too, frankly. So that's a crown conch and it's just like lovingly worn down. Oh, it's just been hugged by the beach a, a few times. Oh, it's so pretty. A little worn down, but beautiful. Wow. All right. Yep. Lightning Welk. Today is definitely Lightning Welk day on Sanibel. So I will be picking up Lightning Welks. Now this one, and I wasn't sure if I could tell at the beach, it is a little pitted. And frankly, sometimes when I see it on camera, I can see a lot better. Oh, I knew at the beach I was keeping that lightning welk. <gasps> oh my gosh. So this is a true tulip. Look at the size and the gorgeous, rich color. It's alive. So the animal that creates the seashell is still in the seashell. It is not done doing its seashell thing. So that is a true tulip. And it kind of does boggle the mind that I'm going to take this and put it back into the water, but I want this to survive and make more babies and make more shells for the future. So we never, ever, ever collect live shells. And then I just do a quick peek, anything in the water here? No, sometimes there is. Not this time though. All right. 
getting a little closer to that boat and at this point I've kind of put two and two together I figured it out that the white boat got stranded on the beach and that red boat there is trying to rescue it trying to pull that boat off the beach so it is a little noisy they've got some equipment and stuff going so we're going to hear that in the background a little bit but I'm really just totally interested in all the shells that this activity seems to be kicking up is that why it's like such a great day here I don't know oh the pear welcome Oh, mm, drat. So it looks like it was buried just kind of a certain way. And it was, oh, look, see, look at how gorgeous that is. But you know what? It's got like other critters and stuff in there. It looks some Eastern uh, slipper snails are in there. So not going to take that shell anyway. What else we got? Oh, hi, beautiful <laughs> Florida fighting conch. Yep, you are gorgeous. You're coming home with me. Wow, do you, wow, look at the color on that. And I know it's broken, but you know what? I'm still so psyched. Look, oh, when you hold it like that, it looks fantastic. And that color is just so red and rich. So I'm, I'm still thrilled. I know it's broken. That's okay. It's a big size, gorgeous color. So that is a true tulip. They're just so... I'm sorry, banded tulips. The true tulips are just a little bit more interesting. Speaking of true tulips, so that is a true tulip egg casing. So it's probably attached to a shell or something that's buried under the sand. And it does look like that perhaps they patched. You see that little hole in the center of one of those little capsules. So ah, we're just going to take a peek. I'm not going to really monkey around with it too much. We'll just say hi to the true tulip egg casings and keep it moving because there's a lot more lightning whelks to be picked up i have never had a day like this oh and they're nice size lightning whelks too not just like your little tiny ones oh it's so fun and another paper fig why sure since i'm here absolutely another lightning whelk and a paper fig and a moon snail oh drat Oh man, so look at how glossy and rich the surface of that shell is. And so I'm gonna, I know it's broken, I'm keeping it. I can't help it. It's so pretty, even if it's a little broken. Another nice looking apple murex. That'd be terrible to leave that behind. Now this was weird. What is this? I guess it's a skull of some sort, but I mean, it looks like an alligator, right? But I don't, I don't know what that is and it, I think it's only the top. Again, I'm not, not a biologist. I know a lot more about seashells than I do about some other of the fun things I kind of find on the beach. So that was kind of interesting. I didn't keep it. We're gonna leave it here, a big old weird skull. Kind of neat. <gasps> okay, there it is. And like my heart's like pounding and I'm like, ah, oh, it's alive. But that's still really cool. This is only the second time this has happened to me. So this is a shark eye or a moon snail, and this is alive. So I had heard that the animal cannot fit back in the shell. And I don't know, man, but based on what I'm seeing here, I totally think that the animal can fit back in its shell. It will inflate itself with seawater. So it'll kind of just soak up some of that seawater and it gets, it gets a lot bigger than its shell but I think it can get back in there. You did see the operculum, kind of that amber, let's see if I'll flip it back over again. It's like an amber covering, it's, it's a protective covering. Oh man, that animal is gorgeous. I was kind of waiting to see, is it gonna come out and like do anything fun, juggle, you know, like tell a joke, but no, apparently not so much. So just wanted to say hi. And again, just blows my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna put this critter back in the water try to let it survive and make some babies there you go moon snail oh no buddy all right let's flip you over there you go and i know the water came so that is a long nose spider crab just doing its spider crab thing interesting fact the juvenile long nose spider crabs will feed and kind of float around on cannonball jellyfish go figure right and the bigger ones the big uh, Long-nosed spider crabs will decorate themselves with like sponges and algae. They're big and they kind of hang out on the seafloor. That was just like a medium-sized one. Okay, we made it to just about the boat. It's probably super loud right about now. So yeah, 
going to have to adjust the audio just a bit. So let's take a peek here. We do have a lightning whelk egg casing and we also have a true tulip egg casing. All right, checking the lightning whelks. They appear to be empty. Fantastic. The true tulips, I don't, I don't know. So basically this all should still be in the water. So I'm going to put it back in the water because that's what I do. Just in case it helps. Oh, another critter. Hello, beautiful. So this is a calico box crab. Now the box crabs are called that because when they tuck all their like appendages in, they kind of look like a little box and they do that to protect their gills. And then while I was down here, I was kind of thinking, whoa, what, what, look at this view. So when you get really close, there's all the shells. And so this is what it's like to be a really short critter on the beach. You're kind of like seashell eye level. Great view, buddy. So I said, hi, that little critter. What else is here? I'm trying to be respectful. I know that these gentlemen are working and they, you know, I'm probably annoying them. So I'm trying to completely, you know, give them a large berth, stay out of their way. Because I gotta get these seashells. These paper figs aren't gonna pick themselves up, people. I'm gonna have to <laughs> get them and get them in my shell bag. Look at this. So what, this is so great. What's here, a little banded tool. All right, well look, the lightning walks here. I might as well get it, I mean. It's all of those docenias and the cockles. Some fighting conks. Oh, there's so, look at how beautiful. And there's so many. Uh-oh, all right, little garbage. No problem, we're gonna take that off the beach. One of those fine face masks. I'm also gonna take that beautiful calico scallop. I'll be taking that off the beach as well. Oh man, it's pretty. So at this point, the boat is behind me, but I've been walking, again, this is part two, so I have been out here for quite a while. So I'm going to turn around, take a peek at a couple of the buildings that are probably in the process of rebuilding and becoming brand new again. And then again, the, po ah, the poor boat owner. Bit of a bummer. But look at that rack line. That is beautiful. So I just stopped for a minute and I'm trying to look beyond. So yes, I know the lightning whelks, the fighting conks. And so what else is here? So I try to look beyond all of the other seashells. And would you know, I found myself a true tulip. Isn't that awesome? Gorgeous. For me, really hard. I have yet to find like a really big, beautiful true tulip. I'll take the small ones. They're gorgeous. Love them. Yep, might as well grab the lightning whelk. I don't know what was going on today with the with the lightning whelks, but hey, I'm not going to question it. So lots of the regular stuff. So this looks pretty regular to me. This is a typical pile of Sanibel shells, but every now and then there's going to be one of those other, a little bit more special. What do we got? Oh, it's, so that is a ribbed cantharis bummer. I did see that banded tulip and this lightning well yeah, might as well grab that too wow so yeah this was really really fun this is a little atypical for this time of year i did film this in april gorgeous fighting conch and by the you know the shelling should be kind of slowing down at this point gorgeous base scallop it just means the shells are here they're just a little bit harder to find but today, that is not the case at all. Oh. It's hidden. Oh, and it has a tiny pinhole, but it's gorgeous angel wing. Absolutely beautiful, nice size. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. Gorgeous, gorgeous seashell. So again, that looks very typical to me. That looks like a typical high rack line. I bet you that's what that is. Yep, that's exactly what that is. And then you move into kind of like the middle rack line. This stuff's going to be a little more interesting, in my humble opinion, because it's stuff that might be a little bit newer. Oh, so another moon snail. It is broken, but it's got a nice size. And it's only broken on the one side. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that lovely moon snail. 
Oh yeah, fabulous rack line here. And all those big brown shells, those are pen shells. I don't collect them. I'll, I have a couple just for giggles, but I don't typically collect the pen shells. Probably a good thing they're on the big side. I probably would need to rent a storage unit. Oh, that's weird. A big lightning whelk. Wow. I mean, like a pretty big lightning whelk. And the color's really nice. Ah, crazy, right? Hey, not going to question it. Super psyched. Awesome. Awesome day for those whelks on Sanibel today. And then this was interesting. I've been learning in my Florida Master Naturalist class about the critters and worms and stuff that can be making holes in this kind of wood. So you might get some pittics and there might be some worms. And so creatures will go and make those holes in the wood. Kind of interesting. All right, now what do I got? All right, piece of a moon snail, an old shark eye. All right, a banded tulip. Ooh, this little top is kind of missing. A deal breaker? I guess so, but you know what? Let's do a replacement, because I know it's broken, but that gorgeous true tulip, the patterns and the color, and when you, again, when you hold it just right, yeah, <laughs> we'll hold on to that lovely true tulip. Oh, two more people, yay. So I shared a little bit. I mean, there weren't that many people around, so I really didn't have to share all that much. Again, what? Yeah, I was just picking up one after another after another. It was crazy. Oh, a rough scallop. Awesome. So there is something here other than lightning whelks. There are a couple of rough scallops here as well. But, you know, <laughs> I slowed down and look what's here. Another lightning whelk, so... Yeah, a couple of rough scallops and another great size, beautiful Sanibel lightning whelk. Oh, there's a couple cockles, but I'm kind of got my eye on that egg cockle because I don't find them all that often. It's kind of pretty, right? Just kind of, what's the word? Not basic, but just kind of timeless, a timeless shell. And this one's kind of fun because it looks like it just got tired like I'm gonna make some color and then yeah I'm, I'm just gonna put in a little less effort still a fabulous shell still holding on to that great lightning log okay now what do we got oh okay I see it now friends I don't know that if you can tell but that banded tulip is massive that is literally the biggest banded tulip I've ever found. They do max out at about four inches. This one is over three and a half inches. So that is in my special uh, shell box because it, like I said, that is literally the biggest one I have ever found. That was so cool. You know, when you get one of those special shells. So that, there you go. That's your average size banded tulip. I'm used to seeing those. That looks kind of normal. And then you get it next to this gargantuan one. Look at that. It's like twice the size. So you're normal, you're regular banded tulip, and then you got gargantuan. Really, again, just one of those things that are interesting and fun. Couple of great banded tulips. Oh, I know what you're thinking. It's so beautiful and lemony, right? Me too. Oh man, that's pretty. So once again, and again, this is interesting because the color is so different than these. Now those are kind of quote unquote typical colored lightning walks we've been picking up all day long. And when you kind of put them juxtaposed, you kind of put them next to each other. So pretty. Another pretty pair of lightning walks. And is it whole? Oh, so it's gorgeous. It doesn't have that rich sheen that that broken one we picked up earlier does, but still super pretty moon snail. Awesome. Okay. Up in the higher rack line. Oh, and I was looking at the cockle, but here we have <laughs> here we have a 
piece of an alphabet cone. I'm just going to leave it there. So this was originally what kind of caught my eye anyway. And that just goes to show you, if you're curious, you never know what other things you're going to find. So that is a giant Atlantic cockle. Totally wrong color. Should not be that yellow. So I love it and I'm going to keep it. Another angel wing. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. They're hard. They are a little hard to find without any little chips and nicks and dents. Lovely, lovely angel wing. Lovely prickly cockle. Yep. All right. It's got a little bit of that discoloration. It was buried somewhere for it with low oxygen sand for a minute or two. Okay. Let's collect you. I don't want you to be lonely. I have a whole bunch of your friends, so make sure to keep you guys together. Lovely fighting conch. Oh man, that's pretty. Beautiful natural shine to it. Yeah, and it's no wonder my shell bag broke. So I don't know at what point, because it didn't really slow me down that much, but that gorgeous moon snail, I don't, is that the shell that broke the shell bag's strap? I don't know. But what I did at some point is I took the shells from my shell bag. I put them in my backpack so I could just kind of manage it a little better to keep my shell bag empty. So I did that once because look, I don't have to share with pretty much, I mean, I have the place to myself. This is terrible. I wish there was more people here to share this with, you know? So there was a couple people. We met our, my friend from last week who found that giant moon snail and the genonia. But I'm just here having myself a great time, me and all these seashells. So I did, um, so I got some seashells in my backpack. I got seashells in my shell bag, but my shell bag did break. And so I had to tie it. And toward the end of the trip, I was just straight up carrying my shell bag like a toddler because it was, it was just an amazing day. I was having so much fun. It's, it was just so beautiful. And at this point, I want you to enjoy some of the beauty too. So I'm gonna be quiet and let you have some beach time. Naturally glossy, gorgeous, fighting conch, and they are on the heavy side, so they probably definitely contributed to the uh, shell bag problems I had. But I did order a shell bag online. One of my viewers, thank you. I did order one. If it's awesome, I'm going to tell you all about it. So that'll be coming soon. To put things like this pear welkin, and then I'm looking at this pear welkin, I'm thinking, oh, can I like selectively dip it in acid to kind of strip off that cloudy layer. I don't know. That's a project for another day. Gorgeous pear whelk. And calico scallop. No, oh, that's not a calico scallop. That is a calico clam. And that is a banded tulip. So we have a calico clam an abandoned tulip, and a hinged buttercup leucine. So two shells for the stoop of one. Awesome. The buttery, the better. Love those. And what's going on here? A little stripey, little zigzaggy. Oh, yeah. And it does look like it might have repaired itself, too. It's got that little bit of a break. <gasps> Whoa, that's really dark and awesome. I don't have one of those today, so gorgeous. Fighting conch and, an, I know, another lightning welk. Oh, it's so pretty. So this one, the knobs were just kind of the right way. I never know what it's going to be. I, I'm telling you, the shells talk to me. This one was all about the knobs. It's just so pretty. All right, what are these saying? Yep, Apple Murex, I heard you. Don't worry. So that is a lovely apple murex. Hanging out with a lovely juvenile fighting conch. Awesome. 
So yeah, the shells are not slowing down. Look at this. Now I did notice it got a little windy as I was out there too. So perhaps, you know what? I don't even think I kept that one. Yeah, there's too much stuff on it. Like I just had picked up so many. <gasps> Another egg cockle. Now this one has a lot more color on it. Another timeless shell. Your egg cockle, awesome. Oh, now this is a calico scallop. Yep, they come in all different flavors and colors and, oh, beautiful. Oh, so here is our beach vegetable, a sea cucumber. They are the squishiest. They are so soft. It is a really interesting creature to kind of hold in your hand. It's super soft. And these guys, they're, they're not very complicated from an animal point of view. When they get threatened or they feel threatened, they'll take their guts and they push them out of their body. And they go, here, creature that you might want to eat me, just eat my guts. And hopefully that you know works out for the critter and then it just regrows its guts again. So it pushes its guts out to kind of distract the predator and then it just kind of rolls away and, sw and you know grows new guts. Kind of, <laughs> just find it really neat. So that was a sea cucumber. This is another very pretty true tulip. It's broken, but just like all those other really pretty ones, I'm gonna hold on to that as well. And then this pear whelk that looks like it has been buried in some low oxygen sand for a little while. Just unusual, so that too is gonna have to come home with me. The tide's coming in. I've been here a long time. I broke my shell bag. So at this point, unfortunately, it's time to leave the beach. So I kind of go from that elation to back into like cheerleader mode, like, come on, Santa Bell, I know you can do it. And the people are rebuilding and the hotels and condos and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be brand new. It's just going to take a little bit of time. And the causeway, they're still doing work on that. I do love the view that you get when you leave the island. So Santa Bell is always going to, always going to have a real special place in my heart. Now I did remove a little bit of garbage, 9.4 ounces. And in total, since I've been keeping track of since April, 2022, I've removed a little over 32 pounds of garbage from the beach. I've also removed a couple of seashells. So these wouldn't even fit in the next shot. So those are all the paper figs. This is a really pretty one. You can kind of see some of that delicate coloring. So just wanted to pause to that one particular, very pretty paper fig and look, it was insanity. So I did get a couple of fighting conks because they're awesome and I love cleaning them. So that's really fun. The lightning whelks. I don't know if I've ever had it. I definitely have never had a day like this. I hope I have one like this again. It was amazing. So some of the tulips, a couple of the bandits, a couple of those beautiful true tulips, a couple of angel wings, move over to the cockles, the giant Atlanta cockles, looks like one of those weird yellow ones, the lucines, the buttercup lucines, which were really nice. We have some bay scallops, a couple of those calico scallops. We had a couple crown conks, pear whelks, turkey wings on the left there, and some of the uh, apple murexes, some of those moon snails, and then the one we saw that we didn't get to keep. And then I guess my favorite, that giant banded tulip, the other true tulip, literally my favorite was just the entire experience experience. I mean, it was so fun. Broken shell bag and all. Patreons, thank you. Thank you so much for even considering and helping me monetarily to kind of support me to go out and do things like this because that special parking pass over in Sanibel is a wee bit expensive. Next week, we're looking for tiny shells. So it's going to be much different change of pace, still really fun finding those little itty bitty treasures. So that's what we're going to be doing next week. Until then, I hope you have yourself a great week and I'll see you again next Sunday.